Hello everyone. Let's go continue talk about the back of twin kite system and the twin safe control system. And in previous videos, we talk about how we can set the safety input signal card according to the different uh, safety components. For example, e stops, light curtains, and the gate switches. How we can configure the detailed settings of the safety input cards and the safety input modules. And in this video, we will talk about the safety output modules. Also, I will shortly talk about how we can evaluate your system. All right, let's go to the safety output module setting. The back of safety output card, that is the EL2904. And on the side of this card, we can see the wiring diagram. When you use the EL2904 safety output card, you will find this card has a two slots. But actually, for wiring, you only use the right side of the module. The left side, even if it has a terminal here, but actually, we only use this. For this uh, EL2904, it can connect the four relays, four outputs. So, which means the first channel, it will use a one and a two. Second channel, it will use a five and a six. Third, three and a four. Fourth, it will use a seven and an eight. According to this arrangement, so let's look at that as a output drawing. This is a, the slot five safety output. The first channel, number one and two, that is the first channel, it will control the Valve on side A, and the second channel, 5 and 6, it will control the valve on side B, give a enable signal. And on the third channel, that is a 3 and a 4, it will control our turntable drive enable signal. And the fourth channel, that is a 7 and 8, it will control the air valve enable. That is the actual picture of the safety output module. So we can see for each safety module, this module takes two slots. According to the wiring diagram we just show, we will only use the right side slot. One and two, that is the first channel. Five and six, the second channel. Three and four, third channel. Seven and eight, fourth channel. We will use this area. According to this connection, we will go to the safety parameters. So we look at this, the standard output activate. Because we are going to use this safety card for safety, set this a false, which means we will use this safety card for safety rather than the standard output. Second, current measurement active. For the output, we are going to check the current feedback so usually we will set this uh, to true. We will enable this current measurement function. And third, testing of the output active. So true, which means the output card will give a random test signal. According to this uh, EL2904 safety output card menu, the test pulse from this card, the width of this test pulse will be 300 to 800 microseconds. Which means in your system, if the relay you are using for this uh, safety card output is uh, sensitive for this uh, test pulse, you must uh, shut down this uh, test pulse function. And the fourth one, error acknowledge active. So to check the detail, we can go to the 2904 safety module menu. The error acknowledge, if we set to true, which means terminal errors lead to a reset of the safety connection. This error code is showing the diagnosis data for the connection until the user acknowledge it where the error acknowledge in the safety group. If we set a false, which is a default, means terminal errors can only be reset by switching the power supply off and back on again. So usually we will set this to true because we won't use this error acknowledge to clear this error for this module. By default, that is the false, which means if the terminal has an error, 
The only way to reset or recover this safety system, you have to power shut down the power for the safety system and power up. From application view, by default, this selection is false. Means uh, if the terminal got an error and the, the safety won't be recovered by itself, it's ask the maintenance or supervisor to come here to check the system error and then use the, the power down and the power up to recover the fault rather than just use the error acknowledge to clear the fault. But for the non-high risk safety system, we will prefer to set this uh, error acknowledge to true to allow us to use the error acknowledge to clear the terminal errors rather than power down the system because once you power down the system, you may lost some data or interrupt the production sequence in your machine. So back to this case, uh, I will prefer to select the two. Okay, so this is uh, the slot five. Let's look at the slot six. Uh, it will control the tooling system inside the cell. Uh, we will call that the cylinder. One control the retract, one control the extend to direction of that cylinder. And for the retract, it will use the first channel one and two. For the extend, it will use the second channel five and six to enable the cylinder solenoid extend. So we go to the slot six, go to the safety parameter, and we will say the same thing, true, true, and uh, give uh, error acknowledge active to true. Until here, basically we finish all the setting on our safety input card and output cards. So till here, maybe someone will ask, uh, why your safety e-stops design like this wearing way, and why your safety output design like this? It's good time to have a quick review and a quick record. All those designs depends on the application, which means depends on which safety level your machine need to reach. That's basically come from the evaluation of your safety system. Let's use uh, ISO 13849 slash one safety standard to evaluate this cell. Basically for this cell, the safety standard or the safety evaluation we will follow this uh, PLD category three. Let's have a roughly evaluation for this machine. Since the machine has a climbs and has a well tooling system inside, so potentially it will cause a serious injury for the operators. So we will basically follow the S2 path. And when we select the F1 and F2, so let's see, it's a seldom to less often or explore time is short. And F2, that is a frequent to continuous and explore time is long. So for the outside area, which means the explore time for the operator on the outside, that is a F2. And then let's look at the P1, the P2. So when we select the P1, the P2, which means the possibility of avoiding hazard or limiting the harm. As we can see from the picture, the tool won't be clamped in the middle. And in the correct loading process, when the operator load the part, their hand only be possible in the middle. So in the normal process, their hand won't be injured by the tool. So which means it is possible or under a specific conditions to avoid the hazard. So, which means we will basically select the P1. So if we follow this path for this machine, we will basically follow the PLD safety level. If we open the back door and go inside, what the safety evaluation level inside the cell? So we can reevaluate again so still the S2, that injury will cause the serious injury. For example, if there's a, the welding tools inside, right? So it will cause the 
serious injury, so we will select the S2. From the correct maintenance procedure, they need to power down the machine and open the door to fix the tooling system, which means open the door with the power to fix something inside is less often or is almost impossible. So we will select the F1 according to the inside work. But if someone go inside because the tooling is inside, if the tool controlled by accidentally, because inside the room is really limited, so it's almost impossible to avoid the hazard. So which means this possibility of avoiding hazard, we need to select the P2. So which means we follow this way as two F1 P2 and still the PLD. This is a just a rough evaluation demonstration. In actual case, we must think deeply and think the highest risk to the operator and the operation man. All right, back to this example, based on the evaluation level, PLD evaluation level, let's record this manual from back of application guide, twin safe. If we go to the circuit example, and according to our case, that is a category three PLD. So which means our safety, we will use the install button, two loops, right? And for the output safety, we will use the two relays, and this two relays controlled by one safety channel. Uh, so this application diagram is the same as the, the drawing design. For this e-stop, it has a two channels, right? And in our case, for the e-stops, it has a two channels here. For this safety output, for this first group if channel, for the previous info, the first the channel one and two the will control the two relays here. Flow chart. So, so the design is the same as this application diagram. If you recall the previous info, basically we demonstrate the whole flow charts. Firstly, you need to evaluate your system safety level according to the risk estimation. You could use the ISO 16849, or you can use the IEC 61508 standard. And according to your safety evaluation level, you can basically follow this application according to the different category and the PL level. And you can select the different uh, safety loops for your design and the wiring. And after you design this wiring, you go to the safety card according to the different channel, set the different uh, application and set the different configuration for your case. And two more things. So according to the terminals of the safety card, and when you design the wiring things, keep in mind, we will follow the one, two, three, four, the channel one, channel two, three, and the four, and we will use the terminal numbers following this diagram. And before you start wiring, keep in mind to set the deep switch on the safety input card and the safety output card. This is the actual pictures of the module. So the terminals number showing like this, number one, two, three, four, five is here. According to the picture like this, so which means this is a channel one, two, three, and a four, following this way. And keep in mind that there's a little bit confused for the standard input and output. If you look at this standard cards, this is a standard output card. So it has a two numbers on the terminals. This is the terminals we are supposed to use, one, two, three. Four, but we can still find that it named here. Here it also has a name, but this number doesn't match with this number. For example, this number it should name number five, but from here it named the number two. It follow this way: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it will confuse for the wearing or designer. Uh, we better use the number for that hole: number one, the number two, three, and a four. 
This is number five. So that is for today. In this video, we introduced how we can set the detail configuration on the safety output card. We also introduced how we can evaluate your system safety level based on your system risk evaluation. We also mentioned the wiring issues. We need to take care about the, the terminal numbers on the card and the terminal diagrams. In next video, I will mainly introduce the how we program the safety control loop by loops. For example, light curtains, e-stops, and gate switches. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.